Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we'll gonna discuss how to containerize a Spring Boot application. Okay, so uh, let's jump into today's discussion. So if you'll see here, uh, this is my IntelliJ idea and already I have a Docker Spring Boot project uh, which is a Spring Boot project with uh, a sample controller. So if you'll see here, so this is a uh, this is the main application. I mean main method class, and inside this one controller is there. It's employee controller. So this is a simple basic one. So I have not uh, uh, derived any use cases here. So just here uh, we have one REST controller and one GET mapping. So if you'll hit employee, and it will return a uh, Docker example one. Okay. So what uh, our agenda is today, so how will containerize this application, I mean means how we can run this application in a Docker container. Okay, so this is uh, a simple uh, first step to, to this Docker. So we'll, we'll learn how to add to database connectivity and, uh, connectivity and all. So, so this is a basic example first we'll learn. Okay, so uh, steps. So if you want to dockerize your application so what are the things we required okay so let's see here i have pointed it out those stuffs okay so prior to this one you should have some basic knowledge on what is docker and what is docker image and what is docker container okay so next how we can containerize an application okay so first we need to create a docker file so docker file is a file where uh, we will uh, describe whatever the things is required for our application okay so for example we required java 8 or we required a uh, operating system and we want to run this application in this way so all these details we can define in a docker file you can easily search in internet and you can get a sample docker file and you can copy paste that one okay so once we have created a docker file then we need to create a docker image okay so we'll build the docker file and we'll create a image so images are it's kind of templates okay so from these images we will run the container okay so running version of image is container okay so let's see how we can uh, create the same thing in our application pretty simple so this is a uh, basic uh, spring boot application if you'll see already i have defined a docker file the name should be uh, d o c k e r docker file there will be no extension on this one okay d should be capital docker file and here i told right so what are the things is required for our uh, application i have uh, written over here so this indicates from means open jdk 8 jdk alpine so this indicates whatever the image we are creating uh, this will e this will use a base image so we required java 8 jdk 8 and it's a alpine is that uh, operating system okay and here we are defining one argument so uh, this defines our jar file in this target folder okay and copy this jar file as a uh, and rename this to app.jar and we are exposing exposing this application from the docker container 3030 we want to expose this application from the docker container in this port 3030 port and this entry point have different commands to run our application okay so already docker file is already defined now let's run the sorry let's build the image first so how we can build the image so docker build command is there so already have uh, kept it handy if you'll see here docker build hyphen t this is tag let me go to this IntelliJ idea and paste over here okay so if you'll see here docker build so build the image with tag as a v1 and spring hyphen app is the image name 
okay and dot indicates the docker file is present inside docker hyphen spring boot in this folder this docker hyphen spring boot is spring boot folder is there right so c user rajan idea projects docker hyphen spring boot so already we are inside this inside this project okay and there from the root of this uh, folder from the root of this project folder i am hitting docker build so build the docker image hyphen t indicates the tag what is the tag you want and this is the version one right if you are not providing any tag then it will take lot test so docker build and spring hyphen app is the image name and this dot indicates from this current folder the docker docker file is present let's build this image and we'll see let me hit enter so if you'll see it's building the image okay so it's done now if you'll see if you'll check whether this image is present or not so i have opened powershell docker images so if you'll see spring hyphen app this docker image is got created right so if you'll see here about an hour ago okay let me open here as well okay so now our image is ready now let's see how we can run this application or how we can uh, run the same image in a container okay so we have a command if you'll see here docker run command is there docker run and hyphen p this indicates okay this indicates the host port so currently our application is currently our application is exposing from 3030 from the container it will expose from the container but if you want to access it from our browser our local browser from the systems browser so we cannot directly access with 3030 because docker is a separate container it's a sep it have separate uh, uh, what you can say separate operating system it's a se completely separate thing so separate network is there so we cannot directly enter to that network okay so for that one we are mapping here so in 9090 port from our browser or from our system we can access this application spring app and this 3030 indicates the container port so 9090 port if you will access 9090 port from our local system it will redirect to 3030 port we are mapping this port here okay so let's run this container now with docker run command okay so i have hit that command the see our application got started okay if you'll see here the see 3030 is running from the docker container okay so if i will try localhost 3030 localhost 3030 it will not access just see it will not access because this 3030 is present inside this docker container okay so if you'll hit 9090 here just see we are able to hit we are able to see this white level error page now what is this url so if you'll see here the url will see right so employee controller is there and here employee is there okay and let's hit this one if you'll see docker example work okay so now we we got a crystal clear picture that how we can uh, containerize our 
Spring Boot applications with Docker. Okay, so uh, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it. So this is my channel where you can see a lot of different tech videos are there. JUnit and microservices, uh, CRUD operation and lot of other video, Git, AEM, lot of other videos are also there. So uh, yeah, so you can uh, watch them, watch those videos as well. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.